100 meters to go, the crew being told to brace for touchdown. Touchdown confirmed at 6.17 a.m. Central Time. A fresh new record has been set for the longest space mission by an American. Six decades after Yuri Gargarin's historic 108-minute orbit around Earth, space exploration has advanced significantly. Today, astronauts don't merely spend minutes in space, they spend hundreds of days. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. This surge began during the space race of the 60s, and the enthusiasm persists. Every year, new records are shattered. Recently, an astronaut joined the ranks of those who have spent the most time in space, living there for over a year. Stay tuned to learn why and how he achieved this, what life in space entails, and how he compares to others who have spent extended periods there. In an extraordinary feat, NASA astronaut Frank Rubio found himself in an unexpected situation as he returned to Earth after spending 371 days in space. The mission was initially planned to last for 180 days. Frank, along with two Russian cosmonauts, were set to complete their mission and return home within six months. Little did they know that this mission would take them on a journey far beyond their original expectations. Their plans were altered when their original spacecraft, which was meant to bring them back to Earth, was struck by space debris. Living and working in space for extended periods presents unique challenges. In the weightlessness of space, everyday tasks that we take for granted on Earth become complex endeavors. Astronauts must adapt to life in microgravity, which means learning to eat, sleep, and work in a world where there is no up or down. Without the natural pull of gravity, muscles weaken and bones lose density. To combat these effects, astronauts adhere to a rigorous exercise routine to maintain their physical health while in space. The isolation of space can also take a toll on a person's mental state. Living in a confined space with the same people for an extended period of time can be challenging. Astronauts receive psychological training to cope with stress during missions, but nothing could prepare Frank for what was about to happen to him. This is our kitchen. You might notice there's all sorts of foods here. Uh, it's like opening the refrigerator. Astronauts have distinct dietary needs and challenges to ensure their health in space. While they can enjoy a variety of foods, including occasional junk food, it's crucial they maintain a balanced diet. Carrying just any food into space isn't feasible. Some astronauts report feeling less hungry in space, often losing about 5% of their body weight during a mission. To counteract this, they're advised to eat regularly and opt for high-calorie foods. Calcium is vital to support bone health, especially since astronauts can lose 1-2% to of bone mass monthly due to microgravity. Thus, a calcium-rich diet and supplements are essential. Vitamin D, typically produced from sun exposure on Earth, is another critical nutrient. Since spacesuits block UV rays, astronauts need to incorporate vitamin D in their diets. In microgravity, the body decreases the volume of circulating blood, storing excess iron in the liver. However, an iron overload can be harmful, and balancing this becomes a challenge. Water, harder to transport than food due to its fluid state, is paramount. Astronauts need more than the usual eight glasses daily, with extra reserves for unforeseen circumstances on the station. We'll delve deeper into this later. On Earth, our muscles and bones work against gravity. In space, with minimal resistance, astronauts exercise approximately two hours daily to mitigate muscle loss. They engage in resistance training, cycle on a stationary bike, and run on a treadmill, all while anchored to avoid drifting. Using bungee cords, the treadmill gives the sensation of running directly toward Earth. Yet, despite these measures, muscle and bone deterioration remains a concern. This space-induced loss aids in osteoporosis research on Earth. Maintaining hygiene is even more vital in space. Astronauts use sanitizing wipes for cleanliness, no-rinse shampoos for hair, and adopt unique toothbrushing methods. Maintaining spacecraft and equipment hygiene is essential for a healthy the space environment. Due to the lack of gravity's compression, astronauts can grow taller in space. For example, Scott Kelly grew 1.5 inches after a long year mission. This elongation can result in back pain and nerve issues. Radiation can also induce genetic changes from DNA damage. 
my level of like muscle soreness and fatigue is, is a lot higher than it was last time. Despite these challenges, astronauts still conduct experiments in a disorienting environment where the absence of a defined up or down can cause space adaptation syndrome, characterized by nausea and headaches. However, these symptoms usually subside after a few days. The International Space Station, a product of global collaboration, is vast, weighing 360 tons and longer than a five-bedroom home. It houses six sleeping areas, a gym, a panoramic viewing window, and multiple experiment zones. Food storage in space lacks refrigerators, so items are vacuum-packed. Some dishes, like spaghetti, need water for preparation, and even seasonings like salt and pepper are in liquid form. Astronauts secure meal trays during dining and tape ingredients down to keep them stationary. It is difficult to live in space, but some manage to hold records for various reasons, willingly or unwillingly. Some missions require astronauts to spend longer periods of time in space, while others have unplanned events that lead to an unexpected record. The previous record for the United States of 355 days was set in 2021 by NASA astronaut Mark Van Hy. Two cosmonauts and NASA astronaut Frank Rubio wrapped up a record 371 days in space. But this entry into the history books wasn't always in the plan. Rubio's 371-day space flight sets a new record, but why it happened is quite peculiar. And while 371 days seems fascinating, Russia still holds the world record for the longest continuous space flight. In the mid-1990s, Russian astronaut Valery Polyakov spent 437 days in space aboard the Mir space station. There is also a record for the most time spent in space, and that list is filled with Russian astronauts, with Gennady Padlaka at the helm with 879 days. Frank Rubio was a flight surgeon, U.S. Army lieutenant colonel, and a helicopter pilot before becoming a NASA astronaut. As a pilot, he had over 1,100 hours of flying time, 600 of which were during combat operations. As a surgeon, he received a medical doctorate and began working as a clinical supervisor and flight surgeon. While serving as a surgeon for the 3rd Battalion, he was selected to become an astronaut. And liftoff. A sunset start to the mission of Rubio, Prokopiev, and Patelin to the International Space Station. Rubio, alongside the Russian colleagues, was sent aboard Soyuz MS-22 in September last year, and their mission became one of the wildest stories in space exploration history. The recent record was quite popular, as Rubio wasn't supposed to go on the flight at all. It was planned as a Russian crew, but he replaced Anna Kikina as part of an astronaut swap system between NASA and Roscosmos. The astronauts were set to come back after six months. However, the space debris that struck their spacecraft resulted in a critical coolant loss, rendering their original ride unusable. They were left with no choice but to find an alternative means of returning home. As a result of the collision, they found themselves facing a prolonged stay. During their extended stay, Rubio and his crewmates conducted a wide range of scientific experiments. The ISS serves as a platform for research in various fields, including biology, physics, and earth sciences. After 371 days in space, Rubio, Prokopiev, and Petalin finally made their way back. The replacement capsule brought them safely through Earth's atmosphere, landing in a remote area of Kazakhstan. The return set a new U.S. record for the longest continuous space flight. Do you think it's possible for humans to spend several years in space? If so, how would that change them? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell.